Hi guys, welcome to Mark One Life. So today we're gonna be drilling a disc of a Velocity 1.4. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I've got hot rims right here. I'm gonna let the owner of the car actually uh, explain the rims to you guys. So uh, I just wanna show you guys uh, what I'm doing on this car here. As you can see in the background there, black fellow 1.4. The velo is still in a good condition. And we're gonna we're gonna put rims on today and show you guys how to drill 5100. So uh, let me just show you what rim we are gonna be um, putting on the car here. As you can see, this is the rim of, of the car, and I've got the owner here, um, Ethan. Can you explain us how's the uh, Ethan? Sure, sure, sure. Can you just explain us about that rim? What from what car does that rim come so, and what was done on the rim? So that's a Polo GTI wheel. Uh, the wheel is step. It's six, it's a 16 inch Franza step to uh, HA and a Reza 8.25 with a uh, high polish dish. Okay, sure. So guys, there you have it. Now you know what rim this is and and what was done on the rim. So uh, I'm gonna be installing the rim and then I'll show you guys how the, the rim uh, looks once it's on the car. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and please guys subscribe to this channel. So as you can see this car is gonna look super hot guys. Yo, yo, yo. I might have to do a full cinematics on this car with this rim on. As you can see um, we just done this one wheel and uh, we drilled it 5100 and you can see all five my... Uh, my bolts are going in 100% so uh, guys this car is gonna look super 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 yo 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 I have to say it eh? so uh, just follow um, follow us as we go along we're gonna do now the next wheel and then uh, I'll put you guys on a time lapse as I do the next wheel and I'll just explain you guys how to actually throw it is little bit uh, complicated if you don't know uh, if you don't have a background of drilling and tapping um, so if you if you're gonna do this on your own uh, you guys will have to be very careful because you might damage your old disc and then you have to replace the old disc it can become expensive so uh, yeah but I will uh, explain you guys and if you have that uh, knowledge then you can actually use that uh, knowledge and, and do this yourself Is now they scare the Owens. Ah, that's my how it go when you got the golf, eh? Okay, so guys, as you guys can see, um, I finished this desk here. Um, you can see I drilled it uh, 5 100 multi hole. Um, so, what you will be needing is you're going to be needing different sizes of drill bits. Um, so, and then you're going to need a, a 12 millimeter tap range in order to tap it. So as you guys can see I've got here my 12mm tap range, I got different sizes of drill bits so that I can actually drill it uh, from small, working myself to the biggest one uh, which is 10.5 and then um, can I drill it and I tap it but you can see guys, you can see the results, uh, this is the factory yeah, this is what I have drilled. You can see the depth of my threads. It's quite deep. So this is quality work, guys. If you all need uh, me to do this for your car, you can actually just uh, direct message me on Facebook. I will leave the uh, description in the link below. My bad. I will leave the link in the description below, I meant. Or you can direct message me on Instagram. So guys, but if you want to do this yourself, make sure that you do it on your own car first before you do it on somebody else's car and mess somebody's car up. But uh, guys, this is how it looks. The key thing here is to drill straight, 100% straight to get dead center. 
Um, dead center, I actually made a, uh, a tool. You guys can see, that is my tool. Just to get my dead center, I had to make this tool. Um, but yeah, so that is how my 500 looks. So we're gonna fasten the front and I'll put you guys on the time lapse on the back. It's the same steps that I took here. It's the same steps I'm gonna take at the back. as you can see I'm done with the back uh, drums uh, you can see mine is that there um, those holes right there that one there but uh, if you if you you can't see it on the video that much because this disc is like dirty but um, in in real life if you had to look at it uh, while being here you would see the depth of my threads and uh i think uh yeah this job is well done so uh we're gonna be fitting the last wheel on here and once we're done then uh i'm gonna do a short cinematics on this car with a wheel on hope you guys are enjoying this content um and hope you guys subscribe to this channel if you are a golf one owner i always say this is the channel for you you gotta subscribe guys so guys I, I urge you to subscribe to my channel as you can see the content is quite good um, uh, I haven't seen anybody do this on on social media or anywhere so uh, this is um, a video that uh, I think it's we are the first people on mark one that actually film a video that shows you on a golf one how to make it five one hundred so uh, guys, uh, I am uh, going to install the wheel, uh, as you can see there is the wheel right there and the front wheel is already on and all the other wheels are on. But when it comes to your drilling, just make sure that when you drill there is a spring on the inside here. Uh, when you drill uh, and you drill onto the spring, uh, release your handbrake and then you move the disc around your, your drum so that uh, you don't drill into your spring. And when you when you tapping, uh, make sure that uh, you use. Uh, even when you're drilling, I got Q20 here. Uh, I spray it in. I spray it in when I actually do the the drilling and tapping. So guys, use 220. Another thing that I use is my compressor. As you can see, I actually blow these holes clean when I when I uh, when I uh, thread them because if I don't do that then what will happen is um, while you're uh, fastening your bolts that threads can actually mess your bolt up and eventually can mess your threads up so uh, yeah so that is the reason why I need to uh, uh, blow it clean with my compressor um, and it also makes my job looks neater so guys now you know the the pros and the cons of doing uh, your, your, your Dusk 5100 and then uh, I'm gonna continue on uh as you guys can see here yeah, i've got the uh, velos are done they basically just baking in the sun but the quality guys it is top notch if you had to see the quality you would realize that it's really good quality then yeah i'm busy with my city sport rims i have given it primer uh, i'm gonna be uploading a video on the city sport rims i'm gonna be uploading a video on the on the velo rims how i spray painted them and how uh, i refurbished them as well as um this video yeah how to drill your your disc 5100 but guys yeah this car is not even yet down but you can already see how nice this car is gonna be looking